If you or someone you know has diabetes, you may have built up an excess supply of test strips and lancets. That's where we come in. We'll buy the supplies that you don't need and resell them to those in need to prevent waste. Help us make diabetes management more affordable. Visit us at teststripswithaz.com. All right, we have the reigning defending Fury FC light heavyweight champion Ike Villanueva on the show. He just successfully defended his title this past Friday in Humble, Texas in the main event of Fury FC 40. Knocked out former UFC veteran Rashad Coulter. The hurricane is coming through right now via Skype. How are you, sir? Oh, man, doing great, sir, man. <clears throat> man, doing great after this weekend, man. That was an awesome feeling. Uh, a bunch of hard work paying off. So, you know, looking forward to what's next. Well, congratulations on the big win. I heard you're a, a big football fan, so I wanted to set the table here with the greatest franchise in sports right now. And as a as a world champion yourself, I'm sure you can appreciate this this sweatshirt that oh, I'm wearing. Oh, oh, no doubt, man. They got the goat over there, man. My son's a big Patriot fan, man, so it's all over the house. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, Friday night, you have a short night at the office. I'm sure that's what you were hoping for. And uh, how does it feel five days later to have that belt, pick up a win against a guy with a name and a guy who's competed on, on the biggest stage in our sport? Oh, man, it's huge. I mean, it was a big moment for me. Uh, all that was a bunch of hard work, man. Uh, as a football guy, as a football coach, uh, I dissect film. I dissected a lot of film on Rashad. We exploited a lot of his weaknesses, man. We beat him to it. It was pitch perfect game plan. It worked on how we seen it. Well, you look at Rashad, <clears throat> Rashad never got, you know, in the USC, he fought some tough guys. But Friday night, he ain't never had that happen to him. And so that's kind of a big thing that we take on our side. Hey, man, we put a lot of hard work. Hopefully we caught the attention of the UFC. Hopefully they, you know, they catch eye to that, man. Does it feel more real being a champion after that fight? Like a lot of fighters tell me that when they win the belt, yeah, it's a really cool moment. You get the, the belt wrapped around your waist. It's something that you've been thinking about for a while. It's sort of an unforgettable moment. Then that, that newness of being a champion sort of wears off and you begin to think to yourself, like, am I really a champion or do I have to go out and defend that title to, to really be a champion? It solidifies everything, so to speak. Is that how it feels for you right now? Yeah, because um, Rashad was my first title defense. I won my first. I won the belt from uh, Roger Navarez, another USC vet. I knocked him out in 28 seconds. Then uh, same night, Rashad Cutler called me out, and I, you know, opportunity like that, you jump on. I jumped on it, and here we are. You know, I'm victorious once again. Same result, man. It was beautiful. So you know, a true champion, you got to defend your belt. You call yourself a true champion. How often do you carry the belt around with you? Because you picked it up right before we went on record, and I was hoping you were going to do that. You did do it. There's only a couple of people I've interviewed who have won titles and or, or defended the belts and actually bring the belt to the interview, and, and you're one of those guys. Yeah, I mean, I look, uh, it was a, that's a big win. I mean, not many guys can say that, you know, Rashad was coming straight out the UFC, awful win. And uh, beat a guy like that in the first round, TKO stoppage, man, you got to, hey, you got to flaunt the belt a little bit. <clears throat> at least I get the next call, then this will just go up in the trophy case and we move on to what's next. I mean, that's how I look for it. Um, I think uh, as a fighter, I'm done on the local scene. Uh, I'm with uh, Jason House. I really am a sports agency. So we're looking for the next step. So we're just waiting it out, man. Stay ready at all, at all times. That's the goal. You have been in this crazy sport of ours, competing professionally for over a decade now. This title offense took place, doing my, my crazy math here, a few days after the 11th anniversary of your professional debut, if your top topology page is correct. So you're 35 years young, you're on this great streak right now, and as a guy that's a little bit older than you, how do you explain this all? What is the secret to the success at this point in your career? Hard work. <clears throat> you got a bunch of young guys coming up. You got to uh, work them. I mean, those guys, they can be satisfied. At my age, you can't be satisfied. you got to push it 10 times harder. And that's all it would have taken, man. Long days, long nights, time away from the family. But I got a great team at Four Ounce Fight Club. Uh, head coach, Daniel Pineda, he pushes me every day. And you know, our goal is never be satisfied. I mean, look for what's next. And, uh, hey, we're hoping we get it, man. <laughs> I guess we, we can all throw this out there. You're you're from Houston. The UFC happens to be coming to Houston in less than two months. And looking up and down the card before we hit record here, there, there are a few spots left on that card. Plus, there's a couple heavyweight fights on the card. There's a couple middleweight fights on the card. You fought at both of those weight classes. I'm sure that's where the sites are set right now. Houston, inside the octagon in February. That's the ultimate goal here. Is that accurate? Man, that's 100% accurate. As a... As a guy born and raised in Houston, man, that's the main goal. I mean, the way it all played out so far, for me to accomplish that, it would be amazing. 
And uh, like I said, middleweight, heavyweight, whatever, light heavyweight, whatever you need, man, I'm going to jump on it. And that's just as a fighter, you got to do it. I mean, you get your name called by the UFC, you better, you better jump on it no matter what weight. <laughs> <laughs> How confident are you that this happens? Uh, in my heart, I'm 100% confident in my heart. But you know, that's everybody. You know, everybody got to be confident it's going to happen. But I'm looking at, man, if it don't happen for Houston, it's going to happen somewhere down the line. I mean, it's just, I just got to wait my time, and that's what just keep staying ready. I mean, just, I know Big Maynard would give me a call, man. I'm just hoping uh, Jason House, he's the best at it. So I got faith in that guy. So, man, we just wait for our call, man. Be patient. What will that call mean to you if Jason calls you on the phone 20 minutes from right now and says, guess what, man, you got it? Man, it'll be an emotional feeling, man, for me because at my age and the work I put in, it's all all worth it, man. It's a, it's a glory, man. Every fighter wants to say, hey, man, I made it to the UFC. You did it. But just not just to be in the UFC, but get the wins in the UFC. That's the most important thing to me. That's big for me and my family, my work here at Hunting Energy Services. It's big for my guys here. And uh, just, you know, that's the main goal. I'm, I'm praying. Uh, I hope I get it, man. All glory to God, I get it. What did the guys at work and everybody at your office say to you when you came came strutting in there with the title belt on your shoulder this morning? Oh, man. Uh, <clears throat> actually, Friday before I defended my belt, they had a little pep rally for me. Pretty oh, cool. Pretty, pretty awesome, man. Uh, my boss had uh, Andrew Cousin had Eye of the Tiger playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about 60 employees on their feet screaming, yelling. It was awesome. Then after, and I told the guys, I told them what I planned to do. And uh, Friday night, after I got done, my boss was just like, amazed and all in awe. I was like, man, you said what you planned, you were going to do this. I said, yeah, man. You get a motivated guy like me who's hungry, you ain't going to stop me. And my, my, guy, <clears throat> my goal is to keep pushing, you know, to keep staying hungry. Because if you stay satisfied, you know, you can you know, plateau out. You're going to hit, you know, hit a little flat line, you know. But me, I just got to stay pushing, man. Keep on grinding every day. What does the support like that mean to you? As, uh, not just even at a fighter at this point in your career, just in general. To, to show up to work on Friday, you're about to defend your title, and then they throw this pep rally for you. 60 or so employees are, are cheering you on, giving you, uh, giving you some, some good juju. What does that all mean to you? Oh, man, so it's all, man, love. I mean, as a fighter, you got to fight for something. To have that many people believing in you and pushing you, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, man, I'm grateful for it. And it was, it was just a blessing. I mean, because that's the motivation a fighter needs, you know, that support. You don't want to let them down. You don't want to let your family down. But just knowing, hey, man, they got your back. And it, was, it was awesome, man. I, that was a great game plan. That was perfect for me. And uh, I fed off that. So, you know, Friday night when I got my hand raised, it was just amazing, though, you know, to make them proud again. You're a family man. You're a working man. You're a fighter. You seem to to have it all together right now. You're on this impressive streak, and a lot of fighters are motivated by some of the things that you're saying. You're motivated by family, work, friends, kids, yeah. all that stuff. There are others that say you, that, that that tell me, you know what? Like I love them all. They are my rocks. That they, they give me a boost. But fighting's for me. This is my thing. Like this is what yeah. what gets me out of bed in the morning. I do yeah. this for me. How do you approach fighting in those terms at 35 year, years young? Uh, I got two sons. I got two sophomores in high school. And uh, my goal was to teach them hard work pays off no matter what it is. At what age, I mean, you work hard for something, it will pay off. And my sons, Anthony and Isaiah, <clears throat> you know, Anthony's a big football player. Isaiah's you know, big into wrestling. And I'm just showing them, man, just hard work pays off. And that's who I motivate is just my sons because I'm raising men at my house. And uh, that's one thing they see. They're like, man, Dad, you're not lying. Man, we see what you do. I mean – I bring them to the gym with me, show them how hard I push. And that's my goal is to motivate my sons to better their life later on in life where they can, hey, you know, how hard, how tough it gets, hey, just keep working. It'll pay off. Do you see a world where either of your sons follow in, in their dad's footsteps and, and get in the cage? Are you cool with that if that happens? I mean, I'm all for it. I'm a supportive father. I mean, you know, my parents didn't agree with it at first, but, you know, they seen that fire, the competitive fire I have, and they, they support me now. And for my uh, my sons, yeah, if you want to do it, hey, I'm behind them, and I'll be their main tra training partner. <laughs> <laughs> you know where to take them. You know what gym to bring them to, right? Yes, sir. So what do you want to say to everybody, your friends, your family, all that have come out and supported you for this big title offense, even Coulter, who, who called you out, made you a little more motivated to go out there and have the performance you had. What do you want to say to all those people coming off this big win on Friday? Oh, man, thank you to everybody who supported me. It's been a long journey, man, but... They stayed by me through 12 years of this journey. So it's uh, it's big for me. So I look forward to the uh, what's next. And uh, like I said, 
I get that big phone call. This is for everybody in Houston, man. This is for all my fan club, Four Ounce Fight Club, Hunting Energy Services. This is for everybody. And uh, it's a little message to Rashad Cutler, man. Keep on pushing, brother. You uh, you fought a great fight. You have a great career. I mean, those guys in UFC, you fought the toughest in the world, man. So uh, keep on pushing. And as for me, hey, man, I'm going to keep on working. I'm going to get that phone call real soon. So my goal is just keep a, keep working at it, man. Team R80 on the dark side. They support me, so I'm ready. <laughs> you hear that, McMaynard? You hear that, Sean Shelby? Give this man a call. If you need somebody for Houston, give this man a call. What a story this would be. Hometown guy coming in on a four-fight winning streak, 35 years young, coming into the octagon, making his debut, getting a win, fifth first-round finish in a row. What a story that would be. I think this is That'd a no-brainer, awesome. Ike. That'd be awesome because, you know, Dana White, he preaches all the time. you got to be a finisher to fight for him. He don't care about these boring fights. He wants finishes, and that's all I plan to do. I don't play. I'm a blue collar guy. Hard work. I'm gonna entertain the crowd. They bust their, their butt. They'll pay for that ticket. I'm gonna give them a show. So that's one thing I carry, man. So hey, Dana, come on, give me a shot. <laughs> Ike, I hope you get that call, man. Congratulations on the big win. Very impressive stuff. Before we let you go, uh, let the folks know where they can find and follow you on the web, social media. Any other shout outs? Anything else you want to get off your chest? The floor is yours. Yeah, man. Uh, all man. Big, big thanks to Hunting Energy Services. Uh, man, thanks to everybody. Uh, Andrew Cousins, Rick, Jack Peck, Ben Lee. Uh, Four Arms Fight Club, man. Daniel Pineda, Joseph McCamish, my main coaches there, man. Big thanks to everybody. Uh, all my family, man. All my family back at home, all over Texas, man. Thank y'all for your support. And uh, you can find me at hk 44 ike at Instagram and uh, hk 44 on uh, Twitter. Just follow me on there, man. I post all kinds of crazy stuff. Just follow me. And, hey, one day we'll see if I post that big uh, announcement. Maybe I'll have a good Christmas. I get that call before then. Other than that, man, keep on working and keep pushing, man. Thank you for the interview. I look forward to everything, man. Big thanks to Jason House and all my sponsors who follow me. Thank you, Ike. Congratulations once again, champ. And uh, hopefully we get to see you in 2020 in that octagon, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, sir. That's the goal, man. You have a good Christmas, brother. You as well. Thank you.